Okay, first things first. This isn't a video game video for the 10 people to watch this um, channel. Um, second, I normally do this on my other channel, codingvince.com. It's a programming slash promotional tool that I use for myself. Um, when I've been using it pretty badly because I haven't had a chance to actually do to do what I want to do with it, but that's beside the point. Um, this particular video, in this particular video, I'm highlighting a script that I made in order to put the video manager link on the front page again. Now, as you've known, YouTube likes to like likes to make a lot of dumb decisions with your UI and remove things that people that previously found useful. Like for example, when they removed the inbox from the front page and people couldn't get to their inbox because they had to take like five or six different clicks in order to get to that. This is similar to that. Uh, video manager was removed from the links that you get under your profile. And instead, would you get some the creator studio link, which takes you to a bunch of stuff you don't really care about in order to get to the video manager. So to cut the little man out, I decided to make a script that puts video manager back where it belongs on the front page. So in order to do that, um, I wrote a small script that I'm going to go into detail on another channel um, that basically loads in after three seconds after the page loads and on the video watch page, when you click on the um, the parallel the three parallel lines with the um, down triangle, you click that. Ignore that. Um, and video manager appears. It's not supposed to appear that fast though. So follow it is. When you initially um, load up the page, it won't be there. Ignore that alert. So what the script's gonna do is gonna wait three seconds and it's gonna add that. And on the home page you won't have to worry about that because it does it automatically. Like after everything loads, it waits for three seconds and then you get that. And in order to make sure that it's not duplicating within the list, every time you click that particular icon, it checks to see if this has already been populated. And if it's already been populated, then you don't have to worry about that doubling up and tripling up and quadrupling up and, you know, whatever. Um, of course, this link works because it basically uses the same uh, URL shortcut that will take you to your unique video manager list. So, but that's pretty much it. Like I said, I'm going to go into details of how that actually works on my other channel and break it down there. And I'll probably talk about it on, a, on a blog post. Um, I don't even know why I just mentioned that. Now you know I blog. I am an old man. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, see ya.